Hello, dear students. Welcome to our lesson. Hope you are okay and ready to study. Let's start our lesson. Don't forget to take your notebook and a pen or a pencil to make notes. Today we start a new module called Animal World. Our introductory lesson will be devoted to the discussion of ecosystem. Now I would like you to define the word ecosystem in your own words and write down your definition in your notebooks. Let's check. Here you can see the definition given by Cambridge Dictionary. Ecosystem is all the living things in an area and the way they affect each other and the environment. In today's lesson, we are going to learn some facts about ecosystem. We are going to read a text about ecosystem in Kazakhstan. And we are going to learn some new vocabulary connected to the topic. Now, let's look at some new words. Some of them can be familiar and some of them can be new. Listen to the words and repeat after me. Wild animals. Birds. Mountains. A river. A lake. A waterfall. An ocean a desert, and a forest. Now, look at the pictures. And your task is to connect the pictures to the correct words. You can start. Let's check. Picture number one is a picture of a waterfall. Picture number two is a picture of a lake. On the third picture, you can see different types of birds. Picture number four is a picture of a desert. Picture number five is a picture of a river. On the next picture, you can see wild animals. On the picture number seven, we can see mountains. Picture number eight shows us a forest. And the last picture is a picture of an ocean. If you have matched more than seven pictures correctly, great job! If you have more than four correct answers, well done! Now, look at the screen. Here, you can see three extracts from the text. Your task is to complete the gaps in the text with words from the box. Let's read the words together. Provide Cover home, lack, shelter, areas, drop, and insects. You can start completing the sentences. Now, let's check the answers together. Text number one. They are one of nature treasures. They are areas with a lot of trees and cover about 30% of the Earth's land surface. They provide food and shelter to people and animals. Text number two. They take up to 70% of the Earth's surface. They are home to some of the most amazing creatures on the Earth. They provide 50% of the Earth's oxygen. And the last text. They occupy one-fifth 
of the Earth's land surface. It rarely rains there. Reptiles, insects, birds and mammals live there. They are hot and there is a lack of water and plants. However, temperature drops at night. If you have completed all the gaps correctly, great job! Now think, which of the pictures each text refers to? Let's check. First text refers to forests. Text number two refers to rivers, oceans and lakes. And the last text describes a desert. If you have guessed all three texts correctly, great job! If you have two correct answers, well done! Let's continue. Now look at the pictures again and think which things on the pictures can be found in Kazakhstan. Let's check if you are right. In Kazakhstan you can find many forests, deserts, lakes, rivers. You can also find wild animals and birds, as well as waterfalls. The only thing that cannot be found in Kazakhstan is an ocean. Now we are going to read a text about ecosystem in Kazakhstan. Before reading, let's look at some new words. Listen to the words and repeat after me. Vertebrate Habitat and Density Let's see what they mean. Vertebrate means having a spine, backbone. Habitat is the natural environment in which an animal or a plant usually live. Density is the number of people or things in a place when compared with the size of the place. Now let's read the text. While reading, make some notes if you need to, because later we will do an exercise based on the text. Ecosystem of Kazakhstan Kazakhstan is located deep in Eurasia with an area of 2.72 million square kilometers. Kazakhstan has a unique variety of landscapes, from deserts to mountains and inland sea ecosystem. Arid and subhumid lands occupy more than 75% of the country. They contain more than 40% of the entire species diversity of the country. Kazakhstan has a huge space of preserved steppe ecosystems that have been destroyed in other countries of Eurasia, enabling a large part of the population of steppe species to find refuge there. Those include globally threatened species such as saigas, bibak mammoths, steppe birch mice, a number of jaboa species, etc., and birds like polyt harriers, lapwings, steppe black winged pretinkoles, white headed ducks, and many others. The territory of Kazakhstan is inhabited by vertebrate species which belong to the wild ancestors of domestic animals. Among mammals are mufflon, Argali, wild boa, wolf, spotted cat, and several others. Among birds are primarily mallets, grey geese, quails, and others. Despite the vast territory and low population density, many fauna species are rare or endangered, mainly due to habitat destruction or illegal hunting. The Red Book of Kazakhstan describes 125 species of vertebrates, including 40 species of mammals, 
and 57 species of birds. The flora of Kazakhstan is estimated to have more than 13,000 species. Around 14% of plant species are endemic. Kazakhstan has unique genetic resources of globally important floristic agrobiodiversity. According to 2013 data, they include 226 species of wild relatives of cultivated plants, determining the genetic potential for 24 agricultural crops. Now, let's do an exercise based on the text. Here you can see three statements and your task is to mark the statements true or false. You can start. Now let's check the answers together. Statement number one. Kazakhstan doesn't have a variety of landscapes. This statement is false. Statement number two. Many steppe species can find shelter in the ecosystem of Kazakhstan. This sentence is true. And the last statement. Many animals are rare and endangered because of humans' activity. This statement is true. If you have marked all three sentences correctly, great job! If you have two correct answers, well done! We've had a very interesting lesson today. We have learned some facts about ecosystem, we have read a text about ecosystem in Kazakhstan, and we have learned some new words connected to the topic. Don't forget to revise them at home. This is the end of our lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your great work. Goodbye.